extra time. Joel's Telegraph makes your life Hello. Good evening and a very warm welcome to ladies and gentlemen. My dear friends from the media fraternity, budding cricketers from the two most reputed schools of Kolkata and distinguished guests. Fanatic Sports Museum, an initiative by Ambuja Niyotia Group, headed by Mr. Harshwadhan Niyotia and a cricket fanatic, if I call him so, Goriya Majumdar, is a one-year-old museum, one of its kind in this country, where you will find Goriya Majumdar has collected artifacts and memorabilia from various sports personalities across all formats of sports. Today's event, yeah, please, 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 you will get multiple opportunities to take pictures. Please take your seats because we are already late. We are late because the flight took off late from Delhi. That is the reason why Mr. Sevak got late. Please, photographers. Today's event, 11 Gods and a Billion Indians, hosted by Mr. Ashwadhan Yotia on his behalf, it centers around Borya Majumdar's book of the same name. It is already doing pretty good. It is already in the hit list of bestsellers. It is no less than a Bollywood thriller. It is a must-read book. Mr. Virendra Sehwag, he's a legend. He, knows, he needs no introduction. According to me, the only batsman in the history of world cricket who never cared about his personal milestones and achievements. He is one batsman who scored, who tried to hit a six of a bowler when he's on 99 or 199 or 299. We all know how he challenged once Saklain Mustak when he was on 299 and scored a triple century and he did it. That is Virendra Sehwag to all of us. So we are looking forward to a thunderous at least half an hour session between Boria and Virendra Sehwag. Thank you. We are immensely uh, proud of you and we are thankful to you that you accepted our invitation and agreed to be a part of this celebration. Bodia, please. Anirban, I would request you to come on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Dearest Bindu Sheva, respected Boria, Jhulan, Manoj, Rajneesh, representatives from Salmon and Schuster, deep distinguished guests and friends from the media. It's only a pleasure, but a matter of great honor for me and ASOS to be a part of this book launch. Eleven Gods and Billion Indians is not a book with narratives of incidents on and off the field, but an insight and experience of Indian cricket that's privy to not many. It's a journey that takes us to the unknowns of our very own game of cricket, perhaps undoubtedly the only unified religion of this nation which unifies us beyond our religion, caste and creed. Eleven Gods and a Billion Indians is a manifestation of the same. Friends, 
It is indeed an art to narrate stories to the masses, but it's a masterpiece when the same stories as narrated gives you the right perspective and helps you learn the game from a much different <coughs> perspective, much clo closer to ground zero. It definitely takes something extraordinary in you to identify these stories that excite us and connect us deeper to the game of cricket, further to narrate the same in a manner that's in informative and exciting. At the same time, it's truly explicit. We at Aditya School of Sports believe in exploring the unexplored, going beyond the established norms, and thinking right out of the box. Eleven Gods and a Billion Indians is once again a true example of that, and that's why we found it most appropriate to be associated with such a special piece of art. Aditya School of Sports is not a mere dream, but a belief, a vision that we see every single day of our life in a sprawling, environment-friendly, non-polluted 30-acre campus. Just half an hour from the city, we are shaping up the Asus Arena that shall cover games like cricket, football, badminton, tennis, basketball, shooting, and boxing to, to start with. <coughs> Having strategic tie-ups with the best coaches and associ associations in each sport to impart the best we can. We already have put up Bengal's first private stadium in the arena, which is almost ready to host cricket, to host first class cricket matches as we join hands with the Cricket Association of Bengal under the most able leadership of our beloved very own Dada, Saurav Ganguly. The stadium can accommodate about 8,000 spectators as on date. The campus also has a CBSE affiliated quite school that takes care of quality education of all the kids. What we aspire to develop is a sporting school, a concept that we call Edu Sports to help nurture true sporting talents right from the grassroots level and enable them live their dreams, dreams that most amongst the billion Indians live each day. Taking a leaf out of the book, page 294, where Sudhir Gautam, perhaps the most fan of Sachin and Indian cricket, is quoted, Many aaj tak itne zor se shank kabhi nahi bajaya on India winning the World Cup. I wish I had a shank myself here today to blow and welcome an extraordinary, humble, jovial, great foodie, a man of immense energy, passion and vision, a man par excellence at his work, a distinguished journalist perhaps, an underrated academician, a very dear friend, philosopher and guide. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to put our hands together and welcome the man himself, Dr. Bori Amuz. It's always interesting when you host your own book launch. And it's funny as well. But with Viru, you don't miss that opportunity. It happened strangely. I mean, I have perhaps watched every game that Viru has played, every single game. And this association actually goes back, goes back to that 105 in South Africa when he opened that batting, or to that 100 in Sri Lanka with that second ball boundary of 70 balls when he had some 15 games under his belt, not that great a start to his career, and suddenly was born the man who revolutionized batting in the test match arena and also in the one-day format. How do I describe Viru, and, when, and how does this book launch actually come about? We were having dinner. Rajneesh was there, Gaurav was there, Viru was there at the Taj Lands End Hotel. And I know Viru was busy, I know Viru is perhaps the most followed person, organically followed person, not fake accounts on Twitter. So it was, it was quite something. I was, I was thinking, how do I put it to Viru? And I thought back to an interview that I had done with him during the India-South Africa series. Dale Stain and the South Africans were coming to India. They were a highly rated team. And Viru was about to open. I remember the interview going up to him, and I said, Viru, Dale Stain, 145, and me being me, I was pushing him. So about 22 seconds into the question, Viru holds my hand. And I was like, ma bol. So he said, dala bola bola rota hai, 145 jale, 50 jale, maruga. <laughs> and I realized at that point in time, I realized that the Taj lands and dinner, it helps to be straight. I went and told him, need your help. He said, 219 ka jersey bhi aapko diya tha? Aapne jab jo manga hai, mene aapko diya hai, kya help batai hai? So I said, this is my life's work, and you will have to launch it, or rather celebrate it with me in Kolkata, or Delhi, whichever one you want. 
Viru looked at me, Viru looked at Rajnesh, and he did not even bat an eyelid and he said, Aapko mein kabhi na nahi bola hai, na nahi bolunga. Put your hands together for the man who revolutionized world battle, Virendra Seva. Before I call him on stage, this day is also interesting. I asked Viru, kab karna hai? Can you give me a date? And we were initially planning Delhi. But then I've been pestering Viru for a long time to take a day off and come and visit the museum that we've actually set up and worked really hard for it. So he said, why don't we merge the two and I'll come to your museum and we'll do the program together. And I said, can't be better. And he said, the match is on the 21st. So I said, can we do it on the 22nd or 20th or whatever you want? And he said, I might not come to Calcutta for this one particular game, so I'm not sure. I said, what happened? You are the CEO. 22nd is this man's wedding anniversary. So the first start to the program will be for him to not cut the cake, because the anniversary is still there, but to at least touch the cake with the knife. We'll put our hands together for him. And we'll also call Chulan, because a stamp has been released in her honor today. So the two of them, and with Manoj, why don't you do the honors with the cake? Rajneesh, please, please get them there. We'll do a photo up there, and thereafter, I'll call Virendra Sehwag on stage and get going. Viru, Jhulan, Manoj. For this cake, I want to specially call Shripriya on stage. Shripriya, please out. Viru, the lady who made this cake is a dear friend who I think makes extraordinary confectionery. She designed it for you. So please, why don't you come on stage and have a piece with him and then I'll start the program formally. There you go. That's the, that's the formal part of my do. Shri Priya, very dear friend, a sister to me, has designed it for Viru. So we've done that. Now I will get going with the rest of the program. Okay, please. We can, we can get the cake. Thoda cake. We'll, we'll distribute it. Please, Ajay. We'll, we'll distribute the cake to everybody after the program. Do have a piece. It's ritualistic. I need two microphones, Tonmoy. Everyone wants to see you, not me. So, <clears throat> okay. I've celebrated Viren. I don't know how many of you have read the book yet, but I've celebrated Virendra Sehwag at a lot of places in the book. So I will go down that route. And when I say he revolutionized test match batting, I actually mean it. But you didn't start as an opener. Can you tell us that? Because I've quoted Saurav's perspective and then the Lord's 100, and then how you revolutionized everything. How difficult was it? Up test match mein kabhi open, first class cricket mein open nahi kiye the, test match mein open karke, and then what you became. 100 after 100 for India, all over. I think my first question was, John Wright and Saurav Gangli, why me? They said, no, you are playing a one day cricket as an opener, and you played enough one day cricket, you have enough experience. Then I questioned them, then Tendulkar did opening for last for, for decade and Saurav Anguli, you started the opener as in 98 and it's 2002. So why not you guys can do the open, I can <laughs> bat in middle order. So they said, uh, if you want to play test cricket, this is the only place. Don't ask question, if you want to do it, do it, otherwise uh, sit on the bench. So that's uh, Saurav Anguli told me. So I asked him one more question, I said, Dada, just promised me, if 
if I get flop in uh, as an opener in three, four games, you will give me the game in middle order. So he promised me that. He said, yes, done. And then I asked John Wright that, make sure that he fulfill his promise. So because Dada is known for say anything, but he hardly does uh, things. <laughs> so, and after that, rest is history. So in my first game, I think I score 88 or 83 as opener at Lords. 84. 84. So Tendulkar Ganguly Dravid asked me, the, you are the stupidest one. I said, why? He said, no, nobody scored 100 uh, in, in, in their first game at Lords and you missed it. I said, at least I scored 84. So I was happy with that. So he, when Saurav then says that, you know, and he mentions the NatWest final, that opening with Viru, we, we were walking out and I kept telling, telling Viru, Viru, thoda sa dekh ke khelenge. And he said, ha ha, chinta mat kije. And then Ronnie Irani, ball dispatched over mid off, ball dispatched over mid on, and ab gana bhi gara the. Is that true? And how did that come about? Yes, that's true. <laughs> so, so. Your question is long than my, um, longer than my answer. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, did singing on the pitch or whatever, did all of that come naturally to you? I think I was very confident that uh, if uh, English people can score 325, so we can easily chase that because they, they are not in good, uh, good in one-day cricket because we played so many one-day cricket uh, in throughout the year, like 30, 35 uh, one-days every year. So, we are better side than the uh, England side. So, I told Dada, don't worry, you know, Gure kar sakte to hum bhi kar sakte. Inho ne hum pe raaj gaya, ab humara mokka in pe raaj karne ka. So, ye jo aap Twitter ka ek naya definition layo, do you consciously think of your Twitter avatar or it comes to you naturally? No, I was, uh, I was just sitting with a couple of friends and, and I was started with the birthday wishes. So, you know, every time we just wish and I wish you a very happy birthday, you know, prosperous new year and blah, blah, blah. So I said, there's no fun to doing that. So let me change that trend. And I started with the hitman, Rohit Sharma. So because we celebrated Tendulkar's birthday like anything. I said, why, why we are celebrating only Tendulkar's birthday? Why not everybody's birthday? So that, that's how I started uh, on my Twitter. So I just wrote a line that, you know, when Hit Sharma, when Rohit Sharma born, doctor said, uh, hitman comes. So that started it? That started it. And after that, the Jimmy Anderson uh, birthday, I wished him that. Before Jimmy Anderson, there was only one Anderson which was famous, the Pamela Anderson. <laughs> so, so different quotes, you know, people laugh, but they enjoy that. Uh, so you know, so, my so it comes quotes. naturally to you? I mean, do you, you have to consciously think of these things? Not, not really, because the moment you introduce me that, I you know, Viru said no to you anytime, but I will say when you ask me, put your photograph on Twitter, so I will not do that, because I'll do only one favors. Fabulous, that no problem. Done. That is done. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So it comes naturally, I think. Great. So, what does come naturally, and this is something I want to ask of you. 2005, and this is a discussion we had at the Taj Land's End as well. In the book, we mentioned the Greg Chappell email. We mentioned the email which perhaps changed Saurav Ganguly's career. We mentioned the email that created such a flutter in Indian cricket. Are you the person who knew about that email and tell Saurav Ganguly? Yeah, what, you know what happened? Uh, I used to take, off, take a rest during the test matches and while fielding. So just, you know, I have a very good with relationship with umpire. So I said, I, I need a break. I said, how long? I said, minimum five hours. They said, okay. So that what I'll tell. You said, just, you know, you have a bad stomach. So I said to second umpire that, I don't know, I have a bad stomach and I have to go out and uh, flush it out. So they said, okay. So I went out. So I actually went in to the toilet <laughs> to tell the Greg Chappell that my uh, stomach was upset. So, and after that I was sitting, like Greg Chappell was writing his email and I was uh, sitting uh, next to him and I was just reading. So he was writing, dear, this, this, BCJ and all. And then, then I gave attention to that letter, uh, to that email. And then I went in and told Dada. <laughs> so second favor done. You've given the whole media headline. No, no, but he was writing, but I didn't say that what he was writing. I said he was writing something to BCCI, which is very serious. So, you know, you must uh, speak to BCCI what he was writing. So that's what I'm it. saying. So Greg Chappell's email, finally, so Virender Sehwag was the one who informed Saurav Ganguly that that email was being written. I think that mystery, which has been there for 13 years, gets solved today. I asked you this, that why didn't you say this before? You said nobody asked me. Yes, you were the first one. So good. So my hand is up, second favor done. 
So people from the media, please take note. This has been one story which has been in Indian cricket for, for a long, long time. But yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one more thing. When, please do. When this Borea sits there and asks question, uh, he makes sure that he asks something controversial. When he sits here, the reputation is same. So he's still asking the same question. I'm not asking, this is not controversial. The controversial questions, tomorrow headline comes and then he can sell a lot of books. So, so some, hai, something deko, written in aap, the book. Sab koi bechte hai. Bechna to padega nahi to fayda kya publisher nahi. So, main best man wala. Of course. Okay. Isi liye aapko akela bula hai nahi to yeah. sabko bula lete. That was my... That was your call and yeah. maine rak bhi diya. Yeah. Thank you. My multiple launches, there are more people except this launch, there's one man. So, that was something that I have to put my hand up. The best man to sell my books. Anyway, forget it. 195 in Melbourne, Viru is an innings that every Australian also still celebrates. When you get out trying to hit a six, is it something when you look back and think, oh, I might not have hit that shot, or is it like I got 195? No, I never bother about uh, regrets and all, because, uh, you know, when you're at the crease, you have to think that time only. So your mind should work on, on the wicket rather than working outside, uh, outside the ground or maybe in that. I still remember that one conversation I had with uh, Devuda. Is there? No, because it's Borea's function. So we should no, no, no. Be, Devuda uh, and I are great friends. Yeah, okay. I'm friends with everyone. <laughs> no, in Bengal, I don't know who's... Bengal, everyone's my friend. <laughs> so he asked me that, uh, did you regret it? I said, no, never. Why I should regret? Because they said, no, we've Richard scored here a double hundred in, in a day. Or oh, I don't know, 180 in a day. So you missed that double hundred. I said, I was the only one who scored 195 in a day. Nobody else did. So it doesn't matter if you score 200 or 192, that was the highest. And you also got 283 then in, 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 in that match against Sri Lanka at the Wankhede. 293. Two, 293, but you were not out 284. But I was the only one who scored two triple century and 293. Correct. So nobody did that. So but why you I don't. Should, why you should I regret? So if I score that third triple century, you don't call me or not? Then you call me. Then the difference is nothing. So today, the match of yesterday, after that, after that, Chris Gale has said, Bola ki, Virendra Sehwag has saved the IPL by picking me. Oh, sahi hai ki nahi? Wo hi aap se puchna tha. To mein aap se puchh raha ho, maine to likh diya hai. Aap ne to tweet bhi kar diya hai. Haan, to maine likh diya hai ki maine save ki IPL ko. So, kyunki usse bada entertainer koi hai nahi aaj. To last tak kyun nahi aapne liya usko? Wo ek strategy thi. Ki koi nahi lega, kam paise mele lenge. Ki or player bhi to khari dene tha, agar wo us time mein start ho jata, to shayad wo zyada mahinga bhi jata. But are you surprised at the way he played or you were expecting the way over the last couple of games? I think I was expecting from everybody, other franchisee that, you know, they seen uh, last year of uh, Chris Gill's IPL, so he was injured, he was not scoring run also. But when you have injuries, it's difficult to uh, score runs. You, know, you ask any cricketer if he gets injured and come back to the international cricket or any uh, cricket, so it's difficult for him to score runs. And uh, uh, that's what he told us, you know, his back was suffering last year, so he was uh, getting a lot of pains in his back, so he missed a lot of games because of that. And and Virat Kohli dropped him also from the playing 11 uh, when he was not scoring runs. So, so I was expecting that nobody will pick him because he was, he's, I think, 38 or 39 year old. So he was my age. So, so I thought uh, if we pick him, if, he, if I don't play him in the playing 11, he's a good guy to be, uh, do the marketing and he's, he's fabulous with the, all the marketing uh, uh, deals and also everybody loves Chris Gale. You also sell it. It's my job, right? So, dono hum log ek hi kaam kar. Mera kaam ho gaya. So, I think that uh, he fits uh, in our uh, group also. And then somebody asked me that why you brought Chris Gale. I said, we bought him for two crores. If he wins two games, then I think I recovered my money. But he already did that. So, now still, uh, I think 10 more games to go. So, if out of 10, if he clicks two more times, so he win four games. So, he's the big asset uh, for Kings in Punjab now. How are you looking at this job as CEO? I mean, you approached your cricket with a very carefree... I wish, I wish, I wish... I am a CEO of King Salman Punjab team. I mean, as mentor or whatever. <laughs> let's, let's, let's put it that CEO way. CEO's salary is bigger than mine. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Maybe, maybe in other ways you will earn 10 times the amount the CEO earns, which you do. Let's, I don't want to push you that side. No, but CEOs work only in percentage. So we are, our franchise is getting 200 crore every year. So if you look at TV is getting percentage on that 200 crore, how much you will earn? If you ask, you will get a percentage. That's what everyone knows. But looking at this role, off the field. Are you enjoying this role? It's easy. Compared to playing? Absolutely, compared, compared to playing. You ask uh, any cricketer, you know, the kind of pressure they handle while playing, this pressure is nothing. I'm spending 80 crores on somebody else. Not from my pocket. 
and they are paying me for that and they are paying me for that correct to so paying me to spend 80 crores on there this is on, fantastic on isn't it so it's easy job you know but, we but know, yeah it's a it's a little bit little bit pressure when you spend 80 crores of somebody so you spend on right right uh, players and uh, you think the future also so if you think the future so you have to combination with senior and junior so who can uh, serve longer period of time so uh, build the team for uh, next uh, 3 to 5 years so so hopefully in in next 3 to 5 years at least kings in punjab wins once you know when i go back to you and okay let me ask you one more off the field question you've almost revolutionized hindi commentary i mean was it uh, was it a a conscious thing that you wanted to get into commentary or it just happened by chance and you just took to like fish takes to water i think i was used to do lot of hindi commentary during our uh, matches because when the moment i gets out on on cheaply come back to the dressing room and i i sat with a couple of my colleagues and we start doing commentary because in our dressing room uh, we switch off the volume and uh, just just watch the game uh, without volume so i said let me uh, put some volume on uh, on the tv so rather than putting volume on the tv i start talking uh, as a commentator and we we put a lot of people's legs like i give you example and raul dravid was uh, raul dravid was batting and he was not hitting boundaries so it's very boring to do commentary when raul dravid is batting <laughs> and that was the truth uh, because uh, if Ra- you were batting with rahul Lu- rahul dravid then you know it's, it's the best place to to be there because rahul dravid bowler ko thaga deta aur main thake bowler ko maar deta hu lovely lovely and so hindi commentary was a consci- not a conscious effort it was natural to me because i'm very good in hindi so right. i understand uh, every uh, every bit of hindi language so aur hamare desh mein 90 se 90% se zyada log hindi mein dekhna chahte hain और अभी वो टीआरपी गिर गई है जब से सेवा नहीं है अब अब क्या होगा आप तो सेवा है नहीं जब मुझे पता चला कि मेरे मेरा मेरा मेरी वजह से स्टार को प्रॉफिट हो रहा है तो मैंने अपना प्राइस बढ़ा दिया सो नाउ स्टार कांट अफोर्ड सेवा वो दे विल कम बैक एंड अफोर्ड सेवा नॉट टू वरी मे बी दे गॉट दे आर स्पेंडिंग 6000 करोड्स ऑन बीसीसीआई राइट्स एंड 16000 करोड ऑन आईपीएल राइट्स एंड दे डोंट हैव अ गुड कमेंटेटर नाइस दैट्स दैट्स अनदर हेडलाइन हिंदी हिंदी ओके हिंदी हिंदी 22000 crores and no good commentator in hindi saurav mujhe bol raha hai ki ye jo aap abhi bol rahe the dressing room mein that you know you sit in rahul dravid's example you've given saurav says somebody who is about to go into bat is a nightmare sitting next to you because you will do this running commentary and he says you know with seva a good ball he can hit it but when i'm supposed to go into bat and he's sitting next to me and he's doing this it's crazy but i never asked to listen to me I never asked Saurav Ganguly or Tendulkar to, you know, listen to me. So they came that, and sat. That was my commentary. <laughs> Anybody can listen. If you don't want to listen, get up and go some, sit somewhere else. <laughs> so it was easy. But yes, that's true. Uh, especially when off spinner or leg spinner was bowling. So I was, I was saying, that, oh, yar, chokka miss kar diya. Oh, yar, chakka miss kar diya. That I used to tell. Even in our dressing room also. Even you can ask the war. Even we sit together. So I said, yar, ye kya khel raha hai? Isme to chokka hona chahiye tha. So I'm like that. because i was dealing in boundaries not in singles and doubles fabulous fabulous so is this true ki aapne actually shoaib akhtar ko bola tha ball dal raha hai ki bhik mang raha hai i have to be politically correct here no no why no no here why should you have to because aap aap bar bar bol rahe ho ek aur headline ek aur headline sir ab isse badi headline kya ho sakti hai politically correct hone se headline thodi dega virendra sir ye headline ho jayegi na nahi to बाकी सब पीछे हो जाएंगे फिर तो झूठ हो जाएगा नहीं नहीं बाकी सब पीछे हो जाएंगे कोई पीछे नहीं होगा सच ज्यादा आगे आने भी नहीं चाहिए क्यों नहीं आ, आना चाहिए कम आना चाहिए बाकी सब सच है अच्छा थो, थोड़ा सा सच बता दीजिए चलिए <laughs> सच ये जरूर है कि मैंने उसको ये जरूर बोला था कि बाप बाप होता है बेटा बेटा होता बिकॉज द द द स्टोरी गोस दैट व्हेन यू वर बैटिंग इन मुल्तान एंड ही वाज कांस्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू बाउंस यू बाउंस यू बाउंस यू एंड आई हैव आस्क्ड हिम दिस क्वेश्चन दैट द स्टोरी गोस आई एम सेइंग द स्टोरी गोस दैट you called him and you said and he was like hit me hit me hit me and you said bhik mang raha hai ki ball dal raha hai ha that was the correct word not was the begging because my english utne achhi nahi thi us samay so is so maine ye kaha tha ki ball dal raha hai ki bhik mang raha hai so there you go so i actually asked shoaib akhtar this question that did virendra sehwag say this and his head his face was red there was no answer so i had to ask you this question today viru your career several milestones several milestones is 2011 world cup the highest point i think two world cups that 2007 and the 2011 yes 
and we get lot of messages on that day i don't i shouldn't say this but i will ki yaar thank god ki wo jo 83 mein world cup jeete the unko thoda piche chhod diya i don't know why people are saying that because they those were the legends because i watched kapil dev and uh, uh, other cricketers mohinda marnath kirti azad badan lal uh, somehow the people were uh, telling me these these stories so i said no man this is our world cup we won it and doesn't matter who won it before but they were the kapil dev and uh, those players were the legends so i know they did it first time and we did it second time so but he happy uh, with that i think the 2007 world cup is the best i can say that because when we went there so we were very young team young captain new captain and nobody was expecting that india can uh, win the game so or win the world cup so uh, one story was that mai jab bhi quarter final semi final final khelne gaya to mai apne sare kapde leke gaya practice aur uh, match clothes ki quarter final har jayenge to kapde public mein fek denge excess baggage bach jayega सो हम लोग जीत गए क्वार्टर फाइनल तो वो सेमीफाइनल के लिए वापस लेके आने पड़े सेमीफाइनल में फिर मैंने ये सोचा सेमीफाइनल पे जीत गए तो भी बच गए तो फाइनल में मुझे लगा आज तो हम दे ही देंगे चाहे जीते हैं हारे सो दैट्स हाउ वी वांट द फाइनल सो यू डिड गिव सो यस वाओ सो वीर इन द सेवा गेम सो गोरिया मजुमदार डिड आस्क मी कीप द शर्ट अदरवाइज मैं ले लेता ना इधर वो सुमन भी नहीं सुमन इधर है फोटोग्राफर सुमन उसने भी नहीं मांगा कुछ नहीं आपने तो फिर भी मेरे म्यूजियम के लिए 219 का का शर्ट शर्ट दिया 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 है 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 टेस्ट मैच बहुत दे दिया बट इसलिए मुझे आना नहीं चाहिए था फिर इतना कुछ तो दे दिया मैंने आना तो चाहिए था जाके खुद देखने के लिए कि है कि नहीं मैं उसको लेके किया क्या है फंक्शन तो अलग बात है एनी वे टू मोर क्वेश्चन और थ्री मोर क्वेश्चन बिफोर वी गेट इन टू दिल आई मीन द सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ द बुक वीरू given the current team i mean you won the world cup that's why i ask you we've just won this series in south africa do you actually see this team having a realistic chance come world cup 2019 yes yes absolutely because i was i think i was telling in my interviews that this team has a capability to win the test series outside india because the kind of bowling batting we have we missed uh, just missed in uh, south africa we played a Uh, one session uh, with a bat right. so i think we could have win the either first or second test match so so we we create the history in south africa but we missed it maybe in england or maybe in australia yes the kind of team we have as in, in one day is i think uh, we are the favorites i can say that in 2019 world cup big statement and when you, you say that it. no no I, i that's why i want to sort of probe you a little bit more do you say that because and especially this is a question related to the test team is it because the fast bowling unit picked 50 wickets the spinners also came into the party is this the best fast bowling crop that we've had in a long time which is what is prompting you to make this statement yes yeah, absolutely because you know in in our in our days i think we had shrinath uh, zahir khan agarkar and ashish nara uh, but i think this a lot is is is, uh, is really good you know because th- these four bowlers they never played together i think you know either zahir khan was injured ashish nara was injured or uh, shrinath was injured so so they never played uh, together except the 2003 world cup and we reached the finals of 2003 world cup so but this lot has a more capability than they they can deliver in in, in any conditions and australia without steven smith david warner india's best chance this year doesn't matter if they are with them or not even then yeah Okay one more question from me then there are there are school children here so no questions from anyone else i'll take two three questions from school kids and then get into the unveil my final question to you i'll ask one at the end of the show one when virender sehwag looks back at his career you've got you know now you are a, you have your school you are bringing in talent you are part of kings 11 punjab you've done what you've done in terms of all of what you've achieved you're a doting you know family man when you look back i mean if i ask you to identify as an indian cricketer something that you will always remember you've just said world cups but as a more personal memory anything my first test hundred because when i was playing one day cricket everybody everybody was talking about that he's a very good one day player so he can break all the records in one days but he's not a test player so but when i got selected so i have a point to prove that uh, all the media all the ex cricketers and this and other uh, people that i uh, know i can play test cricket also the moment i scored first uh, test 100 so i was very happy happy and i, I hugged the saurav ganguly many times that thank you dada give me the opportunity to play test matches so so he said are pagal tere mein pehle se talent tha maine to kuch nahi kiya sirf talent ko khilaya so he was very humble and he was the only captain who sacrificed his place as opener for me 
sacrifice uh, his place at number 3 for dhoni so nobody else did that that's some humility as well viru when i told you the name of the book you said aapne naam galat rakha hai 11 gods in a billion indians and you told me naam galat hai bhagwan ek tha tell them the story and then i'll get into the questions bhagwan aaj bhi gaye but kolkata mein kitne bhagwan hai mujhe nahi bolo but cricketing bhagwan aapne bola tha god ek hai tendulkar aapne naam galat rakh diya hai that was what when the sevak's reaction was two questions from school children one from yes sir please please माइक्रोफोन टा दिन ओके हाँ बोलूँ गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम आर्यन शर्मा ऑफ द न्यू टाउन स्कूल आई वांट टू आस्क वन थिंग व्हाट वाज योर फेवरेट मेमोरी विद द इंडियन क्रिकेट यू जस्ट सेड दैट टू प्लेइंग फॉर इंडिया इज़ योर फेवरेट मेमोरी यू नो व्हेन यू स्टार्ट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग क्र Second question from another child. I mean, if we have a lady, because cricket is now Chulan's there, so we celebrate her all the time. Is there another hand? Is there another hand from somebody or anybody? Okay, one more question I'll take. So you asked one. Is anybody else? Or is the second one? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, please. Go on, go on. Yeah, we can hear. No one. No one. He got, you got the question. So, second Virendra Sehwag, no one. Final one. Yes. No, no, they, they were have talent, you know, Dinesh Karthik uh, done captaincy in, in all the formats for Tamil Nadu and Ashwin always, always had a brain that, you know, when he was playing with me or uh, against me that he can set his field, he can bowl in power plays, in the middle overs, in death overs, so he's very smart, so, uh, and as a bowler he can understand the psychology of the bowler that, uh, you know, if somebody is uh, going after a bowler and, you know, hit 20 run or 20 run, how will he uh, come back? Because it's not, uh, it's not uh, that over he went for runs. It's it's about that when he how we come back in next over and bowl and there are two three overs. So that's that's how I give captaincy to Ashwin that he can uh, look after the bowling department because batsmen uh, they are very selfish. You don't need to look after them. So they will score runs. School child only school children. What's within the Sehwag's highest test score? Come on quickly. 319, three people, all three of you come up. All three of you come up on stage, 319. So get free book. No, we'll give them better things. We'll give them uh, gift vouchers, they can buy clothes. Come on, my book is, is a bit too difficult for them to read. <laughs> come up on stage. We're in the Sevag's highest test score. Indirect marketing, eh? That's why I didn't say the brand. Yeah. So no okay. marketing. Didn't say the brand. Okay. Celebrated you, but no. Thank you, boys. It, so please go and buy the buy the stuff tomorrow. It's a it's a pretty decent amount voucher. Enjoy. Time to launch the Bengali book first, and it's the first unveil. The Bengali book was not formally released on the seventh of of this month. To first call on stage my few friends to unveil the book along with Viru, Rajneesh, Chulan. Manoj, where's Deep? Deep, please, can you bring the books up on stage? This book, for the first time, is getting translated into multiple languages. We do, you're doing the formal unveil of the Bangla book of 11 gods and a billion Indians. The Hindi edition is getting launched in Delhi. And we will, we will do the... Jatin, where are you? Jatin, please, can you, can you come on stage? Jatin, please come on stage. Onirban? On stage, please. Where's Ramesh? Ramesh? Ramesh, please, can I have you on stage? Aye. And that's... Let's have the books. Please. Julan, Manoj and Viru together. That's it. Sabko de do? Please. 
Yes, I'll come that side. Deep, have you taken a copy? Yes. Sure. So it gives me a lot of pleasure because, you know, not everyone, as he said very rightly in this country, still, when I speak in English, the, the single most instrument of class oppression still in India is perhaps the language of English. Bangla, ba Hindi, so it's a matter of great pride. J Boita Porpor multiple Bhashai launched Hoche, Ingriji Amra already Bear Kurachi, Bangla and Hindi. The Hindi version is getting launched in Delhi on the 17th of May. Thank you very much for doing the honors. The English version we will now celebrate together and then we will take closing comments. So the Bengali book, Deep, thank you for doing it at such a hurry. It's called Ishwar Akadosh O Shotokoti Bharatiyo. I'll acknowledge Ekta for doing the cover for me. Please, Jara Bangla Porte Bhalovashen, my mother, for example, will love to read the Bengali book. It makes a great deal of personal pleasure as a Bengali to be able to do this for you. So that's the Bangla book. Can we have the English versions, please? Jatin, can we have the English versions on stage? If we have on stage the english versions on stage please you know you Now, doing pretty well, and thanks to Virendra. What's happening with the microphone? It's like Borea. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that I will not read this book. Because too much pages in there. But I will read my part for sure. Thank you, Borea. Uh, i known Borea, I think, since 2002 or maybe 2000 when I started playing for India. He was after me for interviews and, you know, uh, not, not him only, means all the, all the reporters when I was just compared to Tendulkar. But he told me one thing, uh, I still remember that, you know, if somebody is comparing with Tendulkar, it's difficult to fulfill Tendulkar's dreams uh, and uh, maybe the way he's playing. So you better become a Sehwag. So I think uh, that, that line I used, I never quoted him. I quoted myself that, you know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, I have to be, be Sehwag. But thanks, Borea, for telling me and letting me know that, you know, if you want to become a Tendulkar, then you have to prepare to score 100, 100, play 200 test matches and score 18,000 runs, or 15,000 test runs. So, so it's difficult to become a Tendulkar. But, you know, feels good when uh, people will compare with you Tendulkar. So I think I was pretty happy when people were com uh, uh, comparing me with Tendulkar. So thank you very much, but I will read my part for sure. For thank sure, you. and I'll, I'll, I'll send you the page numbers, which will make it easier for you. On that note, there's one small token of appreciation from the school kids for you. Please open it and give it to Viru. That's a, that's a hand-painted drawing of Virendra Sevag done by these kids. Open it. Kuleano, 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 Obisha Kuleano. And that's the last part of the program because there's a game tomorrow at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And Viru has to leave. So that's the last part of the evening. Take your time. Aste koro, aste koro, aste koro, chine jabe.
talented thing done by school kids. So put your hands together for these children. They've worked a lot. It means a lot to them that Viru is accepting this on their behalf. Thank you so much. Is 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 the is that the one? Okay, fabulous. Thank you. 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 Okay. Thank you. On behalf of the museum, on behalf of my publishers, Simon and Schuster, on behalf of Mr. Neotia and my friends here from the media, I have to personally name a lot of you. Shumidda, Topon, Dhiman, a lot of you are, 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 are from my fraternity. Appreciate the help. I hope all of you read the book. And please give me feedback and comments. So, so on that note, Viru, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Rajneesh, let's, because this, this commotion has to stop, we can, we can formally close the evening. Viru, ek book up sign karke dena, please. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.